let's make a really quick tassel. I love these tassels. They look great and they're easy to make, especially when you have a template. Ah! <laughs> Anywho, this is the latest bag I made, a scaled down Santorini tote, a little bit smaller size. And this tassel is like what everybody mentions when they see my bag. So, let's make one. First of all, get a scrap piece of faux leather. You can get multiple colors in my shop. This one is royal blue. I like using things that speed up workflow. So I bought this tassel template by Piera. And it is really well worth the money. Anything to make crafting a little bit more organized, a little bit faster, better workflow. You're going to need the tassel cap, and they come in different uh, shapes and colors. I have some in my shop on Etsy, and a little screwdriver. So first of all, I just get a length. I, I'm guessing here on this length, because this is a pretty wide tassel cap. Mine is 17 inches, and it's a scrap, obviously, because that will get rolled up anyways. So I just take a pencil, mechanical pencils I like the best because you can pop out that lead and it won't hit the, the template. And I just go ahead and draw my lines. There's my last mark, so I'm going to keep going. Okay, I'm going to stop there. I think that's going to be long enough. Now the other thing I do for the top is I mark where to stop cutting just so I don't forget. Knowing me, I would forget. This is about half an inch down. Don't worry too much, just keep it consistent whatever you do. Okay, then I bring in my rotary cutter and I cut on each line. Fabri-Tac. And I just dot it along the top here. And then start rolling. I can see already I made I'm gonna get two tassels out of this which is awesome put some glue around on the top and around and then 
push it in. I put my screws in right away. I get them started with my fingers so I don't lose them. Little screwdriver like for eyeglasses. it is. It's done. Isn't that cute? Now what I like to do is spray a little hairspray up in here and then give it a press with a cloth on top with my iron so that these fringy pieces don't curl too much. Because you can see they want to curl but this one is not curly because I did that. I laid a cloth on here and then I gave it a press of my iron just real briefly and then for extra insurance I sprayed a little hairspray inside to prevent the static so there you go have fun <laughs>